Okay, in this video, we are gonna write spherical coordinates um, or equations for an ellipsoid, specifically x squared plus y squared plus nine z squared is equal to nine. Um, so let's take a look at the stuff that you definitely need to know. You need to know what x, y, and z are when you're writing them in spherical coordinates. So it's rho cosine theta sine phi, rho sine theta sine phi, and rho cosine of phi. Um, you also often need to know that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared, that um, x squared plus y squared equals rho squared sine squared phi. I feel like that's the weirdest of all of these. Um, you need to know how to find theta sometimes. Um, you can do that by doing the inverse tangent of y over x, but you gotta worry about what quadrant you're supposed to be in. Um, and you need to be able to find phi, which is just the inverse cosine of z over rho. Okay, so those are things we need to know. Not all of them for this video, but maybe. Um, so let's get started. So we want spherical coordinates for x squared plus y squared plus nine z squared is equal to nine. And I'm actually gonna do this in kind of a weird way. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we also wanna write parametric equations. So let's see. Um, this is our equation. I'm gonna break up nine z squared so I can take advantage of the fact that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared. So I'm gonna have x squared plus y squared plus, I'm gonna break it up into z squared plus eight z squared. So if you add those, you get nine z squared. So it's back to the original. And then that equals nine. Now I wanna look at x squared plus y squared plus z squared. That we know is rho squared. So it's rho squared plus eight and then z is rho cosine of phi, so it's the quantity, rho cosine of phi squared, and then all of this still equals nine. Um, if I expand on the left-hand side, I can factor our rho squared out of everything. I get rho squared, and then the quantity one plus eight cosine squared of phi, and that equals nine. And now if all I'm trying to do is change from rectangular coordinates to spherical coordinates, I could kind of say that I'm done um, but what I want to do is I want to write parametric equations. So I'm not done. I'm going to keep going and solve for rho. So to do that, I'm going to divide. Now I have rho squared, but I really need to get rho. So there's a plus or a minus when you take the square root, but you don't lose anything if you just use the positive square root. So that's what I'm going to do here. So we get this. Okay, so I now know what rho is, so I can use that and uh, at the beginning, we talked about what x, y, and z are equal to. I can use those in combination with rho to write my parametric equations for the surface. So x is rho, so that thing we just found. So it's kind of gross. Rho, and then it's cosine theta sine phi. So the parameters in this will be theta and phi. And then y is almost the same. It's rho, but it's sine of theta and then sine of phi like that, and then z is rho, and then cosine of phi. So the more you do with spherical coordinates, the better you get at them, so I encourage you to play around with it quite a bit. Um, okay, so now we gotta worry about, uh, well, cosine of phi, don't forget that. Okay, so what can theta and phi be? Well, we want everything, right? So, because um, it's supposed to look like kind of like an M&M when you graph it, um, so theta definitely is going to go from 0 to 2 pi, so that goes all the way around in the xy plane. Um, and then phi, we definitely want to get the entire ellipsoid, so we've got to go all the way from the positive z down to the negative z, which is from 0 to pi. And that's it. So those parametric equations, if we graph them, um, will give us the entire ellipsoid. And I definitely encourage you to jump on maybe GeoGebra or your Inspire and try to graph it and play around with the bounds for the parameters and see what you get because you learn a lot by doing that. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.